Hey everybody, thank you for watching Test Tube Plus. I'm Trace, we are talking this week about the human senses. This is a show where we take big topics, we make them a lot smaller, so make sure you subscribe so you get every episode this week. Today we're gonna talk about how all the other senses in the world come together to build out more than just those five senses we learned about when we were kids. So if the five senses are wrong, how many senses do we actually have? Okay, here we go, let's run them down. We have the sense of pressure, which is different from the sense of touch. You can feel the pressure of something on your skin, even if you can't actually feel that thing. Pain has its own network of nerve receptors. Itch has its own senses. That's separate from the sense of touch. Pain and itch both used to be considered parts of the sense of touch, but they've found that they have their own receptor systems within the body. It's not just the overloading of touch. It's more to it. There's more to it than that. Thermoreception, or the ability to tell when something is warm or cold. Proprioception, where your body knows where your arm is in relation to your leg. It's the idea that your body can tell where things are, your limbs. And that is one of my favorites. I think it's really interesting. It also is what police are testing when uh, they make you close your eyes and touch your nose when they're testing you for being drunk and being out in public, or um, if you're patting your head and rubbing your belly at the same time. These are all things that your body is testing its, its proprioception. Uh, there's also balance or equilibrioception, which is the sense of gravity, a sense of up or down, which seems like a simple sense, but if you've ever met anybody who has an inner ear problem and they cannot tell up and down, they really have trouble even standing, let alone not, you know, becoming nauseous all the time or nauseated. There are also stretch and tension receptors in your muscles, in your gastrointestinal tract. Blood vessel constrictions is part of this stretch and tension receptors. If you get a headache, part of that has to do with those receptors. There are chemoreceptors in the bloodstream. Those are connected to vomiting. There are uh, hunger and thirst receptors. I mean, duh. Those can tell you when you need to eat or drink. And those are just the basic ones, the physical receptors that your body knows how to get the, wor the word out to its brain about what's happening around it. It can, you know, really, really get in there. Uh, and there are more than that even, some of which we have, some we don't. There's magnetoreception. Most of us have heard of that. It's where birds can tell what direction north is. Dogs have this too. They spin before they poop uh, because they like pooping on a north-south axis. Kind of weird. Humans do have it, but it's, uh, it's really, we're really bad at it. And it's kind of stuck up in our nose um, in the human body. It doesn't really work for most people. Electroreception, which is where you can, uh, where sharks can detect electrical fields and systems in the water nearby. Some animals create electrical fields that they then pick up what's happening around them. And some just absorb electrical fields from other animals because most animals are creating low level bioelectrical fields all the time. So that's another sense. There's a sense of people looking at you. You can tell out of the corner of your eye when someone's looking at you. But of course, they might also have just been looking at someone nearby. Uh, this is brains, the brain actually has cells that are just for this kind of gaze reception. There's also a sense, an innate sense uh, of time, which is a little more abstract because time was created by humans. It's very complicated to understand, and there are still scientists that debate whether or not this sense of time is a sense or something else. But children have a surprisingly accurate internal clock. This is just the senses that we've found so far. Umami, one of the senses on to the tongue, was only discovered recently. It's a sense that that determines kind of salty deliciousness is, is what it's called. And that is part of our taste reception, but only part. And I didn't even mention those original five senses in this, if you've noticed. Because all of these senses we need. If you suddenly couldn't sense pressure or couldn't tell if your muscles were tense or, or relaxed, your whole body would kind of break down. You'd be lost. So. There are way more than five senses. There are like 12, 15 senses. But why do we only say five? It's a lot simpler. And what happens with all these senses is that sometimes things go wrong. So did I miss any senses? 
You can tell us in the comments. Tomorrow we're going to explore how injuries or problems can sometimes drastically improve and alter your senses. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss the rest of this week's episode. And click here to catch yesterday's episode on what senses really are. Thank <laughs> you.